what is up guys JPR Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how to export individual clips separately so that way you could later import them into another video editor or for let's say like for me in my case I'm going to be storing them in my black box footage stock folder that I have now if you don't know about black box I recommend you to google them all they do is they take stock footage from you and they could be anywhere from eight seconds to as much as I believe it was one minute. I believe it was, I don't forget what was the limit, but you just want to, it's a place where you could store all your clips and they will sell it for you Two other companies that might make use of those footages. So instead of exporting a lot of eight second videos, one by one with DaVinci Resolve, you could tell it to export everything at the same time. So let's get started. First, we go to our edit tab. And here we can select all the clips we want and let's make sure we got about 10 seconds or so of footage. There we go. And we put it in our timeline. Then let's go over to our next clip. This is all footage about Mount Fuji. Let me make sure I don't get nobody recognizable in this footage. All right, so now once we get all our clips ready, set to go. And if you wanna do just slight color correction, you don't wanna go too crazy overboard because I guess stock photos, the whole purpose is to share your files with other people so they could use it. So they will edit them how they like. So just make sure you get nice colors in there. It's a little bit too cool. Let me see if I could warm it up a little bit. There we go, bring our mid also warm warm everything up a little bit should look really nice there we go and then over here there we go and that looks pretty good to me all right let's go to our next clip and if we press the equal sign it will copy over the all the color settings from the previous clip and that's really convenient once you get your colors down how you like all right there we go nice this one's a little dark let's brighten it up a little bit all right it's looking good so once we got all our clips all set ready to go we're gonna go to the delivery tab and on the delivery tab this is where the magic happens now what you gotta do is you gotta make sure that usually as default it's gonna render all your different clips into one single clip and we don't want to do that just click on the individual clips and it will render all our clips that are here in individual clips with the name that we put for example we go to our name here and i'm going to name this mount fuji stock clips and that's it once we got the name we got our export place we got a go to our hard drive and I have a block box for single clips send it there and start rendering now once all the footage is finished we're gonna come back and show you that the folder is ready to go and we're ready to upload to black stud footage all right so once our clip is complete if we go over to our finder head over to our drive this is my scratch drive where I import all my black box single clips. And here we are, all our Mount Fuji clips exported with the same name, but with random export numbers. All right, so once you have all your clips all set to go, go to black box. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and make your account. But once you have your account ready, they're very, it's very easy to import all your footage here at one time in Blackbox using FileZilla and that's what they recommend is to use FileZilla and it's pretty simple. All we gotta do is for the host, type in their website, a portal that they have. It's like a backdoor where we could import all our footage and then your username and password and that is it. Just make sure all our footage is on, on the movie files or MP4 and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Type in our host and of course our E our username which is usually the email you use account to log in 
this website here. Once it connects successfully, we'll have our stock footage folder here where we can fill up with our clips. So now we gotta go up to our folder, which as you remember is here on my DaVinci Resolve, black single clips, and just scroll down till you see the Mount Fuji video clips. And those are the ones with the big file. You gotta be careful. These movie files sometimes export uh, text or something. Don't upload that. All you have to upload is the Mount Fuji stock clips. And these are it right here. So you could just grab them all and drag them over to your directory the stock footage which i have it open right here drag it in there and as you can see down here at the bottom the countdown starts one by one they're going to be imported and when everything is finished you head over to your contribute tab and you shall see all your clips little by little start piling up here where you will edit them tag them and send them into your content folder and this is where all your content will live and will be ready to be edited or used. And that's it. That's how you import stock footage into Blackbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick how-to video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, smash it if you're into that stuff. And if you didn't like it, thumbs down will work just fine. But if you have any question or any comments, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.